Okay, today we've got this beauty. And I call it a real beauty because it's a black body Pentax when Honeywell was distributing them, Spotmatic. Now, this camera is right before the Pentax K1000 came out. This was a screw mount bodied camera that I remember seeing pictures online of Paul McCartney or John Lennon walking around in America when they first came to America and they're shooting with this camera. And I've seen it in silver before, but I rarely see it in black. And I found this at a sale for pretty cheap, probably 20 or 30 dollars. It has a 50 millimeter 1.4 lens on it. So again, really fast glass and in really clean shape for its year. Um, it has shutter speeds from one to a thousand. If you find one of these, you can't go wrong with it. It's like one of those cameras that, you know, if the meter is working, you're, you're gold. And if the meter isn't, you can guess exposure. It's that good. Um, when I look for uh, cameras like this, if you find a camera that takes screw mount lenses, there's a lot of screw mount lenses out there. They're not the quickest to change because you have to screw it in the whole way. But looking inside of it, it's completely clean inside. It looks really good. And the glass, I always look at the back of the glass and see if it's dirty or smudgy. And it's not. It's in really good shape. So somebody took care of this. And there are two settings on the lens. It says auto and manual. In manual, as you stop down the lens, it'll actually get dark in the viewfinder because it's really stopping down. And in automatic mode, only at the moment of exposure does the aperture shut down. So if you're using this and you're noticing that the viewfinder is really dark, check and see if you're not at a small aperture, like f11, 16, or 22. Oh, camera only goes to 16. The lens only goes to 16. And if it's really dark, it could be because you're in the manual mode. And in manual, you'll actually be looking through a closed aperture. So when I picked it up, as I always do on my tests, I check out the shutter speeds. The difference between a 60th, it's a good sounding shutter, a thousand, an eighth, so you can hear the difference. That's half a second. Like the shutter speeds are right on. It sounds like they're really, really close. That's a second. I'm really like thinking that this camera was hardly ever used or not used. To open the back, you pull up on this. A little bit of dust in there. I should get a little bit of dust off and blow it out. But um, again, a really clean curtain. There's no marks on it. There's no uh, presses or bends in it. Everything inside looks good. There's a little bit of foam in here, and it doesn't look like it's deteriorating much, although there's a little bit of, maybe a little bit of residue on here, but not much. And again, I would, I would trust this camera. I think this camera will be a good camera for a uh, student. I teach photography, and this is the kind of a camera that anybody could take this out, and I know that they have a good solid body with a good piece of glass in their hands and it won't disappoint them. The uh, Here there's a couple of settings for empty color film or panchromatic which is black and white so you can actually set this to let yourself know if there's film in it or not. You can always tell if there's film in a camera just by pulling open the rewind and turning in the direction of rewind. If it keeps turning, there's no film in it. If it stops turning, that's because it's catching the film reel and it's creating tension. So you can always check that to see if you have film in the camera so you don't have to worry about opening it and finding out later, uh-oh. Later, you might have noticed some of the cameras put a little window in and that window would allow you to see the piece of the edge of the film canister so you could actually see what kind of film was in there. But this one was before that ever happened and this camera doesn't have a hot shoe. This is a great camera for people who want existing light photography. It's my favorite kind of photography. I'm not a fan of flash 
unless you're doing studio flash, most of the time flash looks like flash. And I like photographs that look like journalism. I'm a photojournalist, so I'm probably skewed towards things that look more real than more heavily produced. It's got a self timer. It's got a switch that turns on the meter. When you press that, it actually turns on the meter inside the viewfinder and then you can turn off the meter. It's got flash sync for X, so you can put a um, PC cord into it and use it with a studio flash. And not a whole lot of other bells and whistles to it. It's a pretty simple, straightforward camera. I feel like it's one of the more special cameras that I have in my collection because it's in such good shape and it is such a, a legendary camera with such a beautiful lens, that 51.4. All right, if you have any questions, put them in the comments and uh, I'll be glad to answer them. And I'm always looking for new cameras and picking some up and I love talking about them. So I'll keep doing these and let me know if you have any questions. If you have one of these, let me know your experience with it and send me some pictures and we'll post a link and see, let other people see how, they, how it works. All right, that's the Pentax Spotmatic, beautiful black body. See you next time. Hit the subscribe button.